about like moving physical things around behind, but I think we'll get there. Uh, for example, I think we have some new technology that could just do self-driving for standard cars way better than any current approach has worked. Hmm. And that might not be quite what you meant by like no, humanoid is. robots. Yeah. But if our AI techniques can like really go drive a car, that's still pretty cool. Yeah. Um, humanoid robots are the dream, obviously. I really care about that. Uh, I think we will get there eventually. It's been like a hard mechanical engineering challenge. That's more the issue? No, the, both things are hard. But like, even if we had the perfect brain right now, I don't think we have the body yet. Mm -hmm. Um, we, we actually very early on in open AI, we used to work on this robotic hand and it was hard for all the wrong reasons. Like the thing just broke all the time. The simulator was like a little bit off, Wow. but you know, we'll get there. Yeah. I think five to 10 years, we'll have great humanoid robots. Yeah. Like amazing. And they'll just like walk down the street, be doing stuff. Yeah. I mean, you would think that's where a huge amount of step change unlocks, right? I think that will be one of the moments that not only is unlocks a bunch of stuff in the world, I think that will feel the strangest. And yeah. We get used to a lot of things. We get used to like ChatGPT doing these things that would have sounded like a miracle five years ago. But if you walk down the street and it's like half robots, are you going to get used to that one right away? I don't know. Probably you do, but it feels like a big difference. That's the one that'll feel like there's like a new species taking over us. Yeah, I think that'll feel, I don't think it'll feel like a new species or that it's taking over, but I think it will feel like the future in a way that ChatGPT still does not. I think also if we can figure out great new computing devices to make, that will feel maybe like the future. But as amazing as ChatGPT is, or these new coding agents, and they are amazing, it's like still stuck in the form factor of the past. Yeah. It's also stuck in, it's stuck in the computer. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely something about that it only can do stuff at the computer, but I don't know, like how much of the economic value in all of the world do you think is like cognitive labor that can be done behind a computer? Like half? I was going to say a quarter, but maybe half. I, I don't know, but some big number. Yeah. Does stuff get much riskier once we have like super embodied intelligence? Because those things are going to be way stronger than us too. I don't know about way riskier. I think like the ability to make a bioweapon or like take down a country's whole grid, you can do you can do quite damaging things without physical stuff. It gets riskier in like sillier ways. Like I would be afraid to have a humanoid robot walking around my house that might fall on my baby unless I like really, really trusted it. Yeah.